Hey everyone, my name is Pastor John Moore. This is my wife, Lady K. Just wanted to come and take a minute to address some allegations that were stated on Facebook by uh, Dr. Juanita Bynum. Uh, we have been partners uh, in ministry for eight years. Uh, we are committed to excellence and servanthood uh, in our ministry. We have hosted speakers, been hosted, and continue to pursue the calling of God on our lives with excellence and servitude. Uh, recently, uh, during our Breaking Rules conference, um, there were some allegations posted on Facebook that we want to address as a couple, uh, as partners in ministry. We had the honor and privilege of hosting Dr. Juanita Bynum, uh, somebody that we admired and respected uh, in ministry. Uh, for our conference. Uh, however, uh, through miscommunication, misunderstandings, and a Facebook live post, the details and frustrations have been made public. We want to be the first to apologize yes. for any misunderstanding, miscommunication, mm -hmm. uh, disrespect, and offense. We always operate from a place of excellence mm -hmm. and servitude. Uh, together, we planted Experience Church uh, five years ago mm -hmm. uh, to fulfill the call of God on our lives. Uh, we have seen incredible things uh, done at the hands of the Lord. Uh, we were excited and uh, in anticipation, asking uh, Dr. Juanita Bynum to join us. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the Breaking Rules Conference. Uh, we are saddened yes, yes, yes. and heartbroken that uh, it has played out the way it has. We are heartbroken that her offense were aired on Facebook mm -hmm. as opposed to an in-person conversation or over the phone. Uh, if we had a way to contact her, we would. But we wanted to share our heart with you uh, because we are passionate about what God is doing. Distance breeds distortion. Uh, we have seen this occur in this situation and we want to eliminate uh, all of that. Right, yeah, we do. And you know, there were um, these allegations that yeah. My husband went into Dr. Juanita Bynum's hotel room and looked at her personal things and an insinuation that he even planted a camera. Uh, so today we want to refute those allegations as they are personally and professionally offensive, derogatory, and highly unacceptable. Uh, in the video that Dr. Bynum posted, she stated that my husband went into her hotel room and looked at her panties, her undergarments, uh, underwear, and because of this, she was not able to speak at the Breaking Rules Conference. Now, I have watched as my husband has slaved over this conference with excellence and also with a servant's heart to the call of God for real. And days before the conference, he personally reviewed and walked through the rooms with the hotel representative for Dr. Bynum and her team to make sure that everything was correct and right. Now, as I was actually out of town, uh, before Dr. Bynum was even in the state, I went to the hotel to check in the room and deliver a personal note from us and also a gift to show our appreciation, even an additional fruit basket. My husband, upon entering the hallway of the suite, he saw luggage in the main room. He immediately called out, hello, hello, is anyone here? Just to see if anyone was in the room. And then upon no response, he immediately left back out of that room. And he went downstairs to the manager, highly upset of the hotel, because he thought, 
that someone else's items, right, mm -hmm. were in the room. We had no reason at all whatsoever to believe that Dr. Bynum or her staff had checked into her room and actually placed her personal luggage in there in that room. So through a classic game of what we call a telephone from my husband to the manager of the hotel to Dr. Bynum's assistant and then even to Dr. Bynum herself, then it became the story that he had actually entered that entire room, looked at her undergarments, and this is just absolutely not true. And if we had the opportunity to talk with Dr. Bynum about this specific particular incident, then we could have explained this to her so that she could understand this. But we are incredibly saddened by the assumptions and miscommunication that has occurred. I promise you, it is never our heart's intent to cause any hurt or any pain to anyone. You know, it was a surprise to us that we are not going to be uh, joining us uh, at the Breaking Rules Conference. That she wasn't going to join us at the Breaking Rules Conference. To respect and to honor her integrity, we honored her at the event and said that she was in town but unable to come that evening. We continue to pray uh, and honor Dr. Juanita Bynum and her ministry. Distance breeds distortion, and we hope this eliminates that. Yeah, we do. And so, you know, even though <laughs> what the enemy is meant for evil, the Lord has still worked it out for good, and God moved in in an incredible way at the Breaking the Rules Conference. Uh, you know, so while we are sad, and we really truly are that Dr. Bynum was unable to join us, we are very thankful for what God did. So please continue to partner with us in prayer as God continues to work in and through us, uh, the Experience Church, and also even through Dr. Juanita Bynum as well.